Hey, have you heard? The bakery has a new home. It's a 5,000 square foot building. It's a part of a larger project called Yellow Studios at Chosewood Park. And we are so excited to be there for the next five years. But first, we need your help. We wanna get this project started right, and that takes lots of money. So I could tell you why I think you should donate and why the bakery is important to me, but I'd rather you hear it directly from our community. So hear from a few people that have been involved in various ways since the bakery's beginning in 2017. When I think of the bakery, I think of the word unique, as corny as it is. Um, like, no one else does this. <laughs> like, there's just so many applications of like Maximus art, but then also like high-end art shows and just there's a space for everyone here. The first word that I think about when I think of the bakery is community, but a very specific community. I think of a non-judgmental, welcoming, and warm community. And I don't think that a lot of places in Atlanta have that. And I think that's why a place like the bakery is so important. Because there's no place that has as much freedom and as much like creative, um, almost like a hot pot in a way, as um, the bakery does. Uh, the one word when I think of the bakery is welcome. Uh, I genuinely feel very welcome each time I go through the doors, each time uh, I'm greeted. I see so many diverse people and so many amazing artists. It's so hard not to feel welcome. You feel intimidated, but at the same time, you you know, you feel like you're one of them. Like, I think there's so many different people that come through the bakery, like old, young, like just ev everyone is kind of has a space here and like can belong here, you know? Um, so I think like that diversity and inclusivity is like probably what I think of when I think of the bakery. I think that there's something about the bakery that feels sort of charmed or like magical to people. Um, and I think that's because we don't, the magic, the charm is the stuff that happens between people and creative experiences. And that's a sort of, a kind of connection that no matter what you're doing feels, feels charmed. I, don't, I, I really don't know how to explain, like, when I walk into the space and then everyone is just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, it's, it's just really cool because you all make me feel so welcome. And like, in an art space that's really significant because to have a safe space where you can express yourself is really unique and special. That's all I can say. A, it's just it's just a lot of energy that I, I don't know how to put into words. Yeah, yeah. I think cheeky is a great word because it encompasses the playful energy of the bakery. And it also encompasses this idea that the bakery is not a traditional art gallery. They're underground, they're they're local, they are really pushing boundaries and redefining art. I think it's just being able to be open and hear everybody's thoughts and ideas. I feel like Bakery is very open to um, collab with any creative and any artist. And for me, that's what is safe. I feel like there's no really like strict boundaries or anything. I feel like Bakery is always open to new ideas and new people and it's constantly trying to grow. And that's, yeah, what I love about it. It's one of the most genuine diverse spaces that I've entered. And um, ever since that it's been gone, it has genuinely felt like there's been a hole in Atlanta that, you know, it's just been missing. The bakery was built by people like myself. And if you have ever felt like you are needing a community or feel like you need a place to be accepted, the bakery is gonna be there with open arms and it's the community that you've been looking for. Yeah, I've never experienced a place like the bakery in my life. Like, I feel so encouraged here to really explore myself and ask questions I've never asked and like really reach out to other artists and be fully a part of my environment. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a place that is just so I don't know, it feels like home, <laughs> which is super corny to say, but like my whole life I've been looking for a place that I can really 
fully be myself. Ooh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but a place that I can fully be myself and express my thoughts and have discourse and like just have friends who are also interested in the arts and trying different things. And this is a space where I've found that I can do that and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. <laughs> and so grateful to have met everyone that I've met um, while being a part of the bakery. Yeah. <laughs> From these volunteers and staff to community and programming partners, people are at the core of why we do what we do here. Think of a good experience that you've had at the bakery. Or think of all the good experiences that you could have at Future Bakery. What is that worth? We know that it's hard to measure in money, but any amount helps. Whether it's 10, 100, or $1,000, your money isn't just a donation. It's an investment. You're investing in the bakery. And in doing that, you're investing in the fun that Future You is going to have, and you're investing in the future of art in Atlanta. We're here to offer you something genuine, something a little different, something a little weird in today's Atlanta. Atlanta needs the bakery. And if you still have to ask why, then you haven't been here yet. <laughs>